This is the Be Energy Wear podcast. Hi, and welcome back to the Be Energy Wear podcast, brought to you by Get Empowered Audiobook, written and read by me, Bran Katanik. By buying this audiobook, you can learn valuable tools that can make your daily life much more manageable. And you're also supporting the creation of the new podcast episodes. You can buy the audiobook on Amazon or get the exclusive bonus edition at beenergyware.com slash shop. Thank you so much for your support. Everyone can feel and sense energy. And if so, then wouldn't that mean that based on that, we can all make good choices? In theory, yes. But in real life, at least in the past, for the most part, that was not the case. Why? Because we can read something, right? But then, for example, as a result of an inner conflict, too much thinking or worrying, and ultimately not really trusting ourselves, again, like I said, in the past, we might have made some not so wise choices, or we might have felt pushed to make an on-the-spot decision. I could talk more about how to trust ourselves in those in similar moments, but I'm going to leave that for another episode. Let's zoom in on energy and how to use it for our benefit. Like I said before, by reading into the energy of people, situations, problems, or solutions, we can get a good estimate about what feels good and what doesn't feel good and what feels right, and what doesn't feel right. And it would be great that based on that only, that we could just pick out what feels best and have an amazing life. Of course, it's more complicated than that. For me, it comes down to, yes, reading into the energy, but it's also about not thinking too much. If I find myself thinking too much, I check how I'm feeling, And if I'm triggered, if I find out that I am, then I stop thinking by focusing on my breath. I take a couple of deep, deep breaths and intend to let go of any unpleasant feelings that might be arising. Once the emotional charge is gone and my mind is quiet again, I once again check the energy of whatever it is that is in front of me. That requires assessment. If by some chance I still feel restless, then it's most likely fear that's behind it. And if I feel I need to take more time to assess, I do so. I definitely try not to create situations which require immediate decision making, especially if the responsibility is high. But of course, in life, many times there is a need to make a more immediate decision. And that's exactly why it's good to set up our life according to our values and our own needs. To choose an environment that is more relaxed and not high-paced. And of course, it's good to prepare ourselves for unexpected situations by spending time with ourselves in meditation and self-reflection. That way we can remain more calm. Going back to the energy. How to let the energy work for us. What helped me was stopping and letting everything be still. And once I feel I'm calm enough, I once again tune into the energy and whatever reading I get, I trust it. I understand that some life situations don't allow for that and we sometimes might be feeling restless when making decisions. If we can distance ourselves from the situation or problem for at least five minutes, that can give us more clarity. So remember to make an effort to do that for yourself. I know it wasn't easy in the past, but times are changing. And if nothing else, it's good to remember that we have the right to take that time. And when it comes to energy, that's pretty straightforward. By getting to know our own energy, we can more easily differentiate between all kinds of energies that can be out there. 
Just practice and observe, and you are going to be able to tell the difference. And with a little extra effort, you will make the energy work for you and make some good choices. It takes time, it takes patience, but it might be worth it. Let me know if what I've shared has been helpful. Message me on Instagram at beenergywear or through my website, beenergywear.com. I would appreciate if you leave a review or just hit five stars on Apple Podcasts. That means a lot to me. And please subscribe and share this podcast with your friends. I'm Bran, your host, and I'll talk to you again soon.